Hello everyone, today is a bit of a double video. The first part of it is going to be opening up and having a look at this TP-Link 5 port gigabit desktop switch model number LS1005G. So it's a dumb network switch, doesn't have any management, can't do VLANs and other things like that. And um, I shall have a look at it, see... Uh, firstly, the box it comes in is phenomenally tiny, like wasn't expecting that when the box arrived was with it, uh, several of them in um, I thought it was so light that it wasn't the, the switches um, however this is the box it comes in tiny barely enough I think for the switch let alone a UK power supply as well so uh, we'll see what's in it the next part of the video will be testing this it won't really be a particularly good test or interesting test because what can you do with a dumb network switch Sorry about the fan noise which you might be able to hear in this video, the switch has three fans in it and the UPS also has a fan in it. So that's the... Oh, that's going to be uh, beeping away as well, the lack of power. Installation guide, not really sure how much that's going to be of use because again as long as you don't loop ports back on themselves can't really do a lot. It does show what the lights mean. So uh, top left, green on means it's running at any of the speeds, so you can't tell, and off uh, means that it's not connected. Flashing is packets flowing through. Some specification information and uh, that's about it for that. So, network switch is plastic and absolutely tiny. And the LED isn't even, say, like the uh, a normal switch where the LED takes up a big chunk of this top left corner. It looks like it's an LED probably on the board behind, uh, which shines through a gap in the plastic and this definitely feels very cheap. We've got a random hole at the top there and some wall mount fixings holes. The power is on the right hand side, nothing on the left, no air vents and uh, on the underside it says power supply 5 volts 0.6 amps. Let's dig further into the box. That's everything that is in the box. We have the power supply, which is 5 volts, 0.5 amps. Oh no, sorry, it's just tiny text. It is 0.6 amps. So let's plug it in and see what it does. So plug it in, all of the lights blink on once and then go out and that is about it. So let me see whether I can move some of this stuff around and uh, get a decent video of the network ports on this network switch and the laptop screen uh, showing the ping statistics as well. Okay, so what I have over here now is this tiny TP-Link gigabit switch, five ports. Uh, that hole on the top is a power light, which you can see there, and this Zyxel network switch. Uh, on the ones that I use in production, they do not have these copper SF, uh, these copper network ports, so I need to use a NSFP here. I've got the 100 megabit 
UPS plugged in with this cable into the SFP and a ping to its IP address happening over here which isn't working. There's a problem with this SFP with 100 megabit network equipment. So the aim here is to use this network switch, this gigabit network switch, to be an intermediary between the 100 megabit and the gigabit. So I will unplug the UPS from the SFP. I will plug in this TP link and uh, it's connected here with a green light. For some reason this copper SFP doesn't trigger the link light over on the uh, Zyxl switch. Probably a Zyxl problem, not uh, an SFP issue. Then I'm going to plug the UPS into the 100 meg, uh, gigabit TP link switch and we can now see data going with this flashing light here out in at 100 megabit into this out at a gigabit into the XIXL and then onto my network and over here on the screen we can now see that I have got connectivity between the UPS and the computer which if I plug the UPS directly in we do not have so this little thing for not a lot. I think these things cost me about £8 on Amazon. They are going to do the trick. I think it's about the same cost, if not a little bit more expensive, to get dedicated 100 megabit SFPs. But um, that to me, well, first off, it's going to take more time because they generally seem to come from China and take weeks to be delivered. Um, whereas this can come from Amazon in a couple of days or, or a day. Um, and also having this would allow me to plug in up to four 100 megabit devices into the network switch whereas having a 100 megabit uh, copper SFP would only allow me to plug in that one device. So hopefully this video has been helpful to you. If it has it would be really helpful to me if you wouldn't mind subscribing to my YouTube channel. You don't need to have the video notification switched on but the subscriber numbers are really helpful. Thank you very much.